Ahoy! The Olympic Games have begun, and with them, so did an awesome event in Cabal. As you know, bronze, silver and gold badges are obtainable in dungeons almost everywhere. I'll show you the ones I believe to be the best for farming them. Bronze badges are probably the easiest case. I chose Altar of Sienna B2F for them. You don't even need to go far once you're inside, just get to the place where you have to collect the samples from the mutants. Once you're there, you can spawn a wave of each of them every 30 seconds, as long as you don't click the object between the columns. Now there's a bug here that people usually abuse clicking the columns in a tricky way, but if you want to do that, I'll let you figure it out yourself. Another place in AOS 2 is in the room where lots of cannibal leaves are spawning. Once you've killed them, click that weird something on the wall to spawn a huge amount of monsters. They'll keep on respawning for at least 5 minutes. After a whole round of farming I found over 40 bronze badges, which is not bad. Now let's move on to the silver ones and Tower of the Dead B2F. I won't bore you with how I do the run here, if you want to see that check out my Mercury record video. There is one important thing to stress here though. You have to interact with every object you can talk to. They will spawn more undead as a penalty for disturbing them, but that's just what we want, isn't it? As you can see there are tons of enemies here to kill. Since the drops are quite bad in there, it's worth farming it just for the badges and the ring material at the end. I usually find between 5 and 12 silver badges in a single run if I skip the trolls, and you can probably finish a run in 20 minutes, or even below 15 if you're experienced, so that's a pretty nice profit. And last but not least, the most problematic in my opinion, the gold badges. There are several places and I haven't been able to decide exactly which one is the best. I'll explain the advantages of each option. The easiest and laziest mode is to enter FT2, get to the first boss and just keep on auto-attacking her. She will spawn ants to protect herself, which can drop badges. Now if your damage is too high, you should lure the red one away, so the boss will be shielded from your attacks. I'd also suggest that you kill everything on your way to the boss, or even go back sometimes if you feel like it. After an hour I usually find around 15, sometimes even 20 if I'm lucky. Just remember to press space before the badges disappear from the ground. Another option is to farm Lava Hellfire. If you're doing normal mode then the trick is to kill the dogs at the beginning, but not the first elemental that appears. That way the other elementals will spawn more dogs. Once you've killed all of those you can safely proceed with the run. The badges are quite rare in here I must say, but the best part is your finishing dungeons. After all, you get some pretty nice rewards for 500 dungeon runs done as well. I barely found a few badges after 5 rounds, but one of my guildmates mentioned he had 13. He was pretty lucky, but maybe it will happen to you too, so just give it a try. 
And last but not least, you can choose the Awaken mode. I personally don't like this option, but it's an Awaken dungeon after all. So you're more likely to find valuable drops in here than in the other two places I mentioned. You just have to go through the whole place until you get to the dragon. And then you can just retreat to a safe place and kill the fire traps for a while. Since the fire traps are spawning indefinitely, I recommend killing everything else you can find to increase your chances. Once again, I wasn't too lucky with the veggies, that's why I recommend FT2 for the gold ones. I wish you good luck with farming, and don't forget to tell your friends if you like this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it or subscribing to my channel. Ahoy!